To assist a resident with a urinal, all you need is their urinal, which should be in their room. So I would knock on the door and wash my hands. Hi, Lee, I heard that you needed to use the urinal. Is that correct? Okay, I'm gonna give you some privacy here and put some gloves on. And you can ask the resident if they want to use the urinal lying down in the bed or they can sit on the side of the bed. They can maybe stand with their walker, whatever they prefer. Many times people use a urinal on their own, but if they do need assistance, you can, um, you wanna put it on a barrier if it's on their tray table. And then again, just expose what's necessary. If they're lying down, you're gonna use this part of the urinal in the bed. And then you'll just place that urinal in between their legs. Make sure that the penis is in the urinal. If you wanna cover them or give them a little bit of privacy, you can certainly do so. And then wait until they're done. You can use a wipe to provide peri care on the front and throw that in the garbage can. And then we'll cover them up again. Okay, if they are on INO, um, you can measure. There's CCs on the side of the urinal. Otherwise, just note the characteristics of the urine if they're not on INO. Again, odor, if there's sediment, if it's cloudy, or any other things um, floating. And then we'll just dump that in the toilet, rinse the urinal. Again, you don't dry out anything that you dump into the toilet. And then we want to put that on a clean barrier again for use later. And I'll take my gloves off. Are you comfortable, Lee? I'll sanitize my hands before I get him taken care of. Get him covered up. I don't think I raised the bed. Make sure that's all the way down. Lock. Recall light here. I'll open up the current curtain and then report anything to the nurse.